Right, so the second step of this is going to be attaching one of my lenses here. Now I've got these range of lenses, the Canon lenses that I use for normal daytime photography. Um, I've got a 50mm standard nifty 50 sometimes they call that. Uh, 18 to 55 which is kind of the standard one that comes with the body if you buy it in the kit. I've got a 75 to 300 there and also 28 to 135 which is kind of one of the one, one of the main ones that I use the most really. So and here's the adapter and what we're going to try and do is I think we'll for this demonstration we'll add on the uh, the standard stock 18 to 55. So here's what to do. First obviously thing is to take the cover off the back of the lens. And you're going to put it on the face here. Now, just loosen it off a little bit because you're going to be screwing or turning the, uh, the orange face here. Now put it on and lock it into place. It's, it's going to be loose, you know, it's loose. It's easy to take out. It's still, it's still loose and wobbling. And what you do is you turn the orange part at the front until it locks. So turn it towards the lens. There you go, and we're on. You see that's not going anywhere. That's quite tight on there now, so that's great. That's the first stage. Now when we're adding our uh, lens to our telescope, the bottom here. I mean you could attach this several ways. It's got several different size screw holes here. I mean we could put it onto, uh, onto a dovetail. One here, I've got loads of holes in this one. So I could kind of screw that onto that before I put it on the top of my telescope etc. But let's not worry about that now. Now we've got the lens on. The next thing will be to put your CCD camera on the back. And for that, uh, for this one, we're Demo, we're going to use the uh, Attic 460 that I've got. But first of all, let's take off the lens to see if it's okay take, doing the opposite backwards, doing the same thing backwards. So this time, I'm just screwing it backwards, turning it backwards, and now we're loose again. So they've engineered it quite well. I mean, it, it's, it's quite easy to take on and off and swap the lenses. Right, something I didn't mention before was the filter threads, obviously. Um, you have to put those in first before you put the Canon lens on, um, because the threads are on the inside. Now, what I did previously was I just took a, any loose filter I'd got, which just happened to be a Bada Solar Continuum filter, inch and a quarter one, and what I've actually done is just, I've just screwed it straight in, really, until it's tight. Turns. Still going. Um, right, so it seems like the filter will actually screw quite and come out the other side. Um, so it's up to you how far you screw that in. part that um, holds the filter is actually moving as well so if I keep my finger on the back and then screw that in I know the filter's not going to go anywhere now so that's flush on the back and we've got the filter in so as before I'll just loosen this front bezel put a lens in then tighten it towards the lens over tighten that. So that's on now. But what we're more interested in now is putting the CCD camera on the back. So what I've got here is my Attic 460. 
And what I've already got on here, and you don't need to obviously have this on at the moment, I'm not going to discuss um, how many millimetres you need and the spacing and everything like that yet. I'm just really interested about making sure it all fits together well and how it fits together. So this is my 460 and I've got an extension, um, small sort of extension on here as well. So I've just taken it straight off the telescope. Let's have a focal reducer on the front of it. So all we're going to do now is we're just going to try screwing this straight on here and see if it goes on okay. So this is a T-thread on the back here. There you go. There you go. That's nice and tight on there. So we've got our lens and our camera with it being held about there. So that's quite straightforward how they go together and we've got an inch and a quarter filter in the middle. We'll just unscrew this. Something um, I did now notice is I've got my ASI 120 camera here with the uh, adapter on the front to convert it to an inch and a quarter. But I'm going to take that off just leave it as it is with the T-thread. What I've found is so easy just to screw an ASI 120 camera on the back there as well. Now this is the USB 3 version here, the S. But any, any of these will, uh, will fit on with a standard T-thread. So now I've got a couple of things I can try, try out. Right, one of the other nice things to mention about using um, lenses, or these Canon lenses, or any type of lens really, to do for doing wide field astrophotography is that you've obviously got the use of the, um, the filters, um, threaded filters on the front of your lenses. I mean, I've got a selection here, which I bought previously. This one is a, uh, is a plus four um, magnification for macro photography. So uh, that could always be used for a bit more magnification. I've got a standard um, Hoya um, polarizing filter here as well, so that could be screwed on the front. And then I've got some ND, an ND4 and an ND8, which are quite reasonably cheap uh, filters there, so they could be used if I was imaging something bright with them. And I've even got a specialized filter here, which is a Star 4 um, filter, which will give me um, um, four... Um, spikes coming off of stars as well so I mean even that that could be tried as well if I didn't want to obviously try and reproduce that in software I could try imaging it with just a filter on the front there so the uh, possibilities are really endless